Hey guys, infamous ride to the airport. We are going to where? You guessed it, London on our monthly trip. I was trying to think of a better word to call it. But our monthly excursion, our monthly ministry adventure to London. And we're heading out from Miami, so come on with us on this journey. made it to London. This is a brutal flight. You don't get any sleep on this flight because of the time of departure. You know, your time of departure matters in life and on airplanes. If you leave at the wrong time, the journey can be a little more difficult. So that's your lesson at the beginning of our journey and we'll see you on the train. guys well I'm waiting for Prophet Vanessa because she was not willing to pay or should I say she was not able to pay the rite of passage at the train station so as you can see she's stuck in a long line because she wasn't prepared and isn't that a life lesson if we're not prepared it'll take us longer to get where we want to go than we wanted to take Amen. So, you know, matter of fact, I'm having to wait too. So, we're waiting. She's getting her oyster card. It's the only way to travel in London. What happened? I have to do it another time. What happened? That line wasn't for cash. Wrong place, wrong time. Unwilling to, or unable to pay the price. Delays, delays, delays. I break the spirit away in Jesus' name. already we have come upon the wrong train so now we're going well across the beautiful country of England and we'll be traveling for several hours until we finally get off and turn right back around so it's fun Vanessa has been detained by the authorities because she has an illegal ticket far beyond where we should have gotten off. I don't even know what the lesson of that is. Find the witchcraft, there is a major assignment of confusion against our journey so far. But guess what? We overcome whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever confusing circumstances, whatever delays, take authority in Jesus' name. Well, we are in Croydon and we have not slept. Have you slept? No. I haven't slept either. And so we are hungry. I feel like Jesus, when he fasted 40 days, and the Bible says, and he was hungry. It's kind of like, duh. Well, we are hungry. We're going to try a new restaurant tonight before the mega ministry begins tomorrow. Where's the place we're going? Uh, Roxy. Rox Roxy's. And it's a kind of a. Yeah, you, you cook your steak on the flat iron. We, we really like, what's the place we like? Steak and Co. 
we really like Cut by Wolfgang Puck, but you know, we're, we're sort of downgrading two stops because we don't have the energy to get on three buses, two Ubers, a train, and head across London, but here we go. All right, here we are at Clapham Junction, one stop away, and it's beautiful here. And libraries. I don't know why I'm whispering. I can't pass a bookstore anywhere in the world without going into a bookstore. You know, readers are leaders and leaders are readers. Grab a book. I have written lots of books. There's lots of great books out there. Listen, that's how you learn. That's how you grow. See, God prophesies to me signs all the time. Look at this sign right here. Look, 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 look. Keep your eyes on the ball. You know, in this journey called life, we've got to keep our eyes on the ball. We've got to keep our eyes on the prize. And that's what I'm doing. My prize is some Roxy charcoal meat. Just a minute, because I'm hungry. Can't find problem, Vanessa. You know, I go in a bookstore one minute, do a little freelance, you know, photography here, and she's She's gone. From well, Vanessa. From well, Vanessa. From well, Vanessa. From well, Vanessa. Oh, there you are. From well, Vanessa. Where have you been? <sighs> She's a little dehydrated as usual. Gotta get her to drink more. Hey, uh, you know, I've been really looking for a proper hamburger and uh, do you like a proper hamburger? I love a proper hamburger. She can find one. I think I found the most proper hamburger ever. Look. You can't get any more proper than that, but you know what I always say? If your hamburgers are really proper, then uh, you wouldn't have to say so. Like, you know, we went to Georgia one time and we had this restaurant. It was the only place to eat breakfast in this little tiny town. It was called Best Breakfast. And Prof. Vanessa said, oh, that sounds like a great place to eat breakfast. Oh, I did not. And the omelet was blackened and I actually had to, to cough it up because it, it wouldn't go down. So proper, maybe not so proper. Let's keep looking. We have a vlog on that one. We do have a vlog <laughs> on that one. You know, what I can really use right now is a just a huge cup of coffee, like like a life-size cup of coffee, and I just really would, just really like a huge tip. Oh, but I just ran into. Hey, all right, it's time to go. School of the Prophets and Seers, London. This is our April, May, June, July. This is our fourth session and now we have official AHOP London shirts. Check it out. I am going to stand on my watch. I am responsible for my city. You are gatekeepers. You are the gatekeepers. You are the ones who decide what comes in and what goes out. It is you. Hey, well, man, tremendous, 
time in the School of the Prophets in Sears, UK. It's even my birthday month and they brought me cupcakes and we did group pictures and they sang me a song. I really wasn't expecting that at all and it really blessed me. You know, it's tough here for outsiders to come in and gain respect and trust and I suppose it's that way anywhere. But there's been a lot of people here that have been really burned by outsiders. So I'm coming in, pray for me. On tonight, we have the school, actually, I'm sorry. Tonight we have Watchman training, AHOP South London Awakening House of Prayer. And so uh, you're gonna see people pray, you're gonna see worship, I'm gonna teach a little bit, and then we have our grand finale at Nando's. <laughs> I've been showing you what I've been eating, it's all good. I wanna make you jealous, been so good. Listen, God bless you, London. I love you. You know I'm 98% British, right? So I have just an inherent love for the UK and I'm, I'm happy to be here. If you're watching me out there, connect with me. I really want to sow into this nation, into these nations, starting with England. God bless you.